before starting the video i'm assuming that we have the knowledge of how api works what is restful api and how django works in this video we will be only seeing how to make apis in django with coding we will try to avoid explanation in this video but if you want videos with explanation please let me know in the comment section so without any delays let's see what are the steps included first of all we will initiate the django app after that we will install the django rest framework that is a library then we will set up django models how our information will be stored in database then we will have serializers basically serializers help us convert the model data into json format file first it will convert it to python understandable language and then from that stage it will convert it to json after that we have view sets which are nothing but classes that help us provide this json data on our screen and lastly we will set up some routers so that we can easily differentiate routes to perform different activities now let's start coding i am using visual studio code here as it is mostly used and i like it here i have already done a basic setup of django app if we are learning about apis using django i am assuming that we all know how to set up a django application so this is my django project api demo and inside that i have a app which is api app let me show you in the browser how it will look so this is how a basic django app will look like on the screen let's complete the project setup for that i will go to api demo folder settings.py and inside here i will include my app which is api app and i will install django rest framework using pip install django rest framework without any spaces hit enter it will take a moment and it will also install other dependencies on which django rest framework is based once it is done inside our settings.py we will also include rest underscore framework at this point our basic setup is complete and we have also installed rest framework now it's time to set up our models inside our app models here we will take example of school administration where we will have different models to handle school teachers subjects students etc making a couple of very basic models here i will use this code where i am making a model of student which will have name standard and location these are very basic django models then i have subject for name and teacher we can also include them in admin here i will say from dot models import everything and admin dot site dot register first we have student and after that we have subject once these are done i can make the migrations using python manage dot py make migrations after that i will migrate the changes using python manage dot py migrate the next step is to make serializers which will convert this into json data for that i will make a new file in api app with the name serializers.py now comes the part where we are going to use rest framework from django here from rest framework we will import serializers and also from dot models we will import everything or we can say student and subject we will create a class which will be student serializer it will inherit serializers dot model serializer and inside this we will have a class meta which will take model and here we are providing student and then we will say fields and here i want all the fields so i will say all same thing we will do with the subject serializers i will just copy pasting this thing here class meta let me copy this paste here and student will become subject and with this our serializers are complete after this step we are going to make view sets that will be done in our views.py so here i will import my serializers from dot serializers import student serializer and subject serializer also we will import all the models the new thing that we are going to import here is from rest framework we are going to import view sets 
view sets are very similar to our class based views so what we are going to do is we will make a class with student view set it will take view sets dot model view set here we will give a query set from student dot objects dot all it will handle all of the things on its own we just need to give it a query set and a serializer class so here i will say student serializer and that's it our student view set is completed it is a very basic view set and it will basically handle all the get put post and delete method we will be looking at it in details from next videos but for starters this is very basic and this will do the needful then we will make a class for subject view set it will also take view sets dot model view set here i will copy query set and serializer class and change this to subject also change this student to subject and we are done our view sets are also completed now the final step is to initiate our routers for that we will create a new file in our app which will be urls.py here i will import from rest framework routers also we will import all our view sets so from dot views we will import student view set and subject view set just a side note here we are using routers here because we are using view set and if we are using functional components in our views dot by using rest framework then the url structure will be a little different and maybe in one of the next videos we will see that but for now let me define a router which will be routers dot default router and i will register a route here for student and subject with router dot register here i will say students and the view set we are going to use will be student view set we will also register our subject view set inside the router so for that we will say subjects and view set will be subject view set our router is configured but we need to tell django that we are using this router for that i will import path and include from django dot http according to conventional django urls file we will say url patterns is equal to a list which will include a path to say school and here i will include router dot urls and we are done here we have performed all the required steps so let's try to run our app let's try running it using run server the app is still running successfully but if we use the url school slash students it should give us something it says page not found and only admin is configured okay here we need to provide our app url into the main urls file let's complete that step in our urls.py in our project folder we will also import include and here apart from admin it should be path with a blank and i want to include api underscore app dot urls it should work we made a mistake in one of our files we cannot import path from django http it is in urls.py it should be django.urls and it is running successfully let's check our browser if we refresh this this should give us something and here it is it is giving us a very good view of the rest framework here we can see it allows get post head and options so if we try to add student 1 standard let's say 7 location hyderabad we post it it is adding to the information and if we try to add another one with some other information let's say gujarat it is giving us the response of 201 created if we check the student list again we can see that we have two students here and if we want to get a single student we can say student slash one it will give us the information about a single student we can also delete it we can also put some information here to change or update this and same we can do with our subject 
we don't have any subject so let's say mathematics the teacher can be john if we post it we can see it is added so this is a good way to use django rest framework and we can host it online on a server to use this api in our projects hopefully in one of the future videos we will complete this database of school administration api please check the description if we complete the api in the near future we can also check it's working from postman so i will copy this inside our postman app if we paste this url and use the get method and if we send the api it is giving us the list of subjects that are available but if we say students and send it it will return with the two students that we have added just now this means that our api is working correctly before concluding the video let me tell you about the official documentation of django rest framework which is this one here we can see all the steps necessary to use restful apis and how to use serializers views urls pagination etc so please have a look at this the link for this will be available in the description the link for the github repository will also be available in the description with this i conclude the video here please do subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet and let me know your thoughts in the comment section i will see you in the next video until then this is omvir taking your leave adios